Hi everybody! Today we're going to make a natural science project to work density. It will be a very easy project in which we will have a few fluids, alcohol, oil, water, and depending on the densities, they will float or sink. Also, we will add a solid object, a candle, that will work the same way. It's going to be a very interesting project and will help everybody understand how density works. So if you are ready, let's get started. As we usually do, let's begin deleting the cat and I'm going to paint all the necessary sprites. Let's begin with a rectangle, no fill. Let's make a quite wide outline, something like this. I'm going to center it. And now we take the eraser and we remove the top line. Okay. So here it is. This is the glass. And now let's make the other sprites. Let's begin with the, the water. The water is going to be a rectangle, but in this case, no outline, but it will have a fill, something blue. And in here, we're going to write a text in black that will be water. All right, let's, let's resize this a little bit. And water is going to be here. Name of sprite, water. It is quite important that you change the names of the sprites to identify the objects as fast as possible. And now we're going to code the water. Um, you could create all the objects at the beginning and then start coding, but it's going to be faster doing this because as you duplicate, you only have to, to change a few things in the code and it will work perfectly. So the water, when we click on green flag, it is going to go here to the position where it is now, X, Y. So let's go to motion and that's a good one. You see that if I move it and click on green flag, it goes to, to that position. And now, how is going to water behave? When I click on water, by the way, it is too big. I'm going to reduce the size of it, 80, less, 75, maybe, yeah. Because it has to be able to get inside the glass without touching the edges, okay? So, when we, uh, when we click on water, when this sprite clicked, it's going to go here and it's going to start moving down. So first of all, let me make sure. I think it's not touching the, the edges. Okay, it's going to go to this position, the position where it is at this moment, and it's going to move down. Let me remind you that, um, let me use this. When an object uh, is moving down, it is moving the vertical axis, in the Y axis. And if it is moving down, we have to add a negative number, okay? We have to reduce the, the number of the vertical position. So, I'm going to go to backdrops and get rid of it. Okay, so to do so, we have to change Y, the vertical um, axis, by a negative number, for example negative two. Let's pick a forever block and we're going to change y by negative two. Look, green flag, the water goes back to the initial position and as soon as I click on water, it starts moving down and it's going to go through the glass, as you see, because I haven't programmed um, how the water has to interact with the glass. What we basically need is a kind of force that pushes the water up at the same time this force is pulling from the water downwards so that one force compensates the other one how do we do that okay look we're going to repeat and we're going to repeat change y by two positive number 
until the water is not let me move this away so that I can move the water until the water is not touching the glass so basically the water is gonna be moving down and when it touches this this force will make it move up until it is not touching the glass okay so um, how do we write that in scratch super easy until not touching the glass let's see if it works as we expect good that's great the water stays there all right so now well the the program of the water is finished we're gonna duplicate that that sprite to create other types of fluids like um, oil and alcohol for example so right click duplicate let's change the name of the sprite first of all alcohol let's go to costumes let's change this name as well alcohol select center and select this to change the color let's make it oh sorry did i say alcohol i wanted to make oil <laughs> let's make oil first um oil i prefer oil oil yeah let's begin with oil okay oil oil and how is oil going to behave okay let's go to the code well first of all where is oil going to start not in the same position uh, same position as water because if i uh, click on green flag you cannot see the oil because it is behind the water to move them i recommend this uh, separate this and the same in the water so that you can move them now and if you click on them uh, nothing happens the position of the water is more or less this one so the oil is gonna be over here okay if the water is in x one uh, 117 132 the oil could go to 117 here we have in 119 but 117 is okay but y should be 80 okay let's make them uh work again and here it is what is oil going to do all right oil obviously is gonna have a, a force pushing it upwards until it is not touching the glass but also until it is not touching the water because oil is less dense than water so oil has to float on water how do we write that in scratch because i want in oil i repeat uh, to change y by 2 until it is not touching the glass and it is not touching the water i say and so we pick this we put this here we know we have to enter from the right side and when we see the the white outline we release and now look right click duplicate we put it here and we select water this way the oil is going to float on the water as you will see here all right perfect you might be wondering what happens if we um, add the oil first into the glass and then we add the water this is what happens exactly what would happen in in a real case if you do it with oil and water as they are not miscible liquids they cannot uh, create a homogeneous mixer when oil and water are, to, are together oil moves up and water is settled down okay so we have that now as i said i'm gonna create alcohol keep one thing in mind alcohol and water are miscible liquids so if you do this with the real liquids they might mix and create a homogeneous mixture and it wouldn't work as it is going to work here in my in my project so uh, let's keep in mind that uh, they are miscible liquids but they are not going to be miscible in this project because that would make the project more complex okay so we're going to suppose oil 
water and alcohol are not miscible liquids. All right, uh, bearing that in mind, right click, duplicate, and now finally, <laughs> um, alcohol, costumes, and we change this. Okay, here I have it. Let's go to the code. Let's um, separate this as we've done before so that we can move alcohol. Green flag. Alcohol is behind oil, so I need to move oil. I can move it also that way. Alcohol here. Okay, more or less the Y of alcohol could be, could be 20. Let's see. Green flag. Okay, maybe a little bit more. 25 green flag okay that's okay and how is going um, how is alcohol going to behave okay alcohol is gonna float on water and it's gonna float on oil because it is less dense than water and oil so we need to change the program in alcohol to make the change y by 2 work until it is not touching glass and not touching water and not touching oil so we need another and we pass this here not touching has to be duplicated we pick oil and from this corner we put it in will it work let's see i'm gonna add them in any order like oil alcohol and water and when water enters they both should go up perfect that works all right so finally as i have promised we're going to add a solid object which is going to be a candle candles are made of paraffin wax and paraffin wax um floats on water and oil but they don't float on alcohol um so let's go to pixabay But let's go to the English website. We're going to pick vectors, candle. I'm going to pick, I don't know, this candle, for example. Free download, the smallest one, download. I have it in downloads. And now I go to Scratch. And here we're going to upload a sprite, my candle, the one I have just download it and here I have it I'm gonna go to costumes to edit it because I, I don't want the fire so with this you can select all this and remove and with the eraser I can clean this a little bit more okay I'm gonna use this to make sure there are no strange things strange things here oh there are all right so the candle is clean I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to um, rotate it. You can convert to vector and rotate. As you see, there is something over here. Let's see if I can get rid of it. No, it should be a bitmap. Okay, vector again, perfect. Now it can be centered, the name is going to be candle, and the candle for the moment has no program. I'm going to pass the alcohol uh, program one by one, you can drag, you don't need to duplicate this because um, when you drag into another object, the these codes remain in the original one, okay? And here we have it, how is the candle going to, to behave? basically same program we want it to move up when touching the glass the water and the oil but we don't want to move it up when touching alcohol because it has to sink in alcohol green flag uh, this shouldn't go there you can change we it is here you can manually change this for example negative 25 could send it to a reasonable position yeah doing this you can move it a little bit more and you check 
negative 36. Okay, negative 36. I put it here again. Green flag. And now let's try. I'm going to start with this. Now, for example, water. It should float on water, so it should move up. It does. Oil. It floats on oil, so it should move up again. And alcohol. It is not going to float on alcohol. Okay. That's perfect. So this is the end of the tutorial, guys. As you see, the program works very well. You can try to add other fluids or other objects. For example, you can add a metal object that sinks completely, or you can add, I don't know, mercury, which is a fluid that also, it's also denser than water and oil, or whatever you want, a piece of cork that floats on those fluids. Well, whatever you want, it's up to you, all right? So see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.